about a new topic, the hot and the cold desserts. Now, in this chapter, we are going to uh, talk about the two kinds of desserts. Some are hot and some are cold. Okay, most of the desserts are hot. Right, but there are also cold desserts. So, in this chapter, we are going to learn about them. Right, so, uh, we are going to learn about the location, the climate, the vegetation in the part 1 of the hot desserts. And in the part 2, we are going to learn about the cold desserts. Which maybe we will learn everything, location, wildlife, right? So, if we start by location. Location means unki jagah, where they are situated. So, they are situated 20 degrees to 30 degrees north and south of the equator. Now, 23.5 degrees, that is the Tropic of Cancer. And 23 and 30 degrees means it's near like in the torrid zone, the hot deserts. It's like the torrid zone, right? So, we will write 20 degrees to 30, uh, 30 degrees north and south of the equator. Now the second thing is they are on the leeward side. New word, leeward, right? New word, leeward. Now leeward is a place that is away from the wind, right? Winds, there are, there are winds but they are completely dry, right? So that is away from the winds, that is a leeward, okay? Now one question arises that why are deserts so dry, right? Why are the deserts so dry? So now the rain bearing means winds means that they have a lot of moisture in them. So from the northeast and the southeast, okay, they come from there. Now till you know their journey is too long. So till they reach the west side, they are completely dry. Because jo rain on kyangar hoti, jo moisture ho, hote on kyangar ko beach beach me, in unke journey me wo rain kar dete, right? Basad kar dete. Now jab tak wo west, yani ki west side me pochte hai, everything is you know dry. The winds are completely dry. Most of the deserts are located on the west side. You will notice, right? So they are on the on the river side. Or else we can write, uh, they are away from the winds or away from rain bearing winds. Bearing. So the climate is kind of arid. Now what's arid? Arid is means like it's completely dry, right? Now, let's see some examples of the hot deserts. So, here are the examples. The Mojave Desert in parts of California, Mexico and the Great Basin. Now, Mojave Desert is not in one you know, city or country. It is in three locations. Okay, That's California, Mexico and Great Basin. Now, Great Basin also consists of three cities. That is Reno. Boys and Salt Lake City. So these are the three cities that come under the Great Basin. Next one is Atacama Desert in South America. Atacama Desert in where in South America? Sahara Desert in North Africa. Sahara Desert in North Africa that is the biggest. Sahara is the biggest desert right? In North Africa, Arabian and Iranian and Thar in Asia, Thar is in our India, right? India, our pride, it's in Rajasthan. Arabian and Iranian deserts are also two some that are in Asia. The Great Sandy Desert in Western Australia, what a name, right? Great Sandy Desert in Western Australia. Now, these were some of the examples. Now, if we talk about the largest, means the biggest hot desert in the world, that is the Sahara Desert. That is the Sahara Desert. Uh, it's not working, maybe. Sahara Desert. Uh, well, this is not in the chapter, the location climate part. But I just thought. 
to show you, okay, tell you because it's uh, like a very informative and you will love it. So, if I tell you how long means how big is the Sahara Desert? It's about 8.54 million square kilometers. This is the, you know, measurement of the Sahara Desert. Okay, it's the, you know, measurement. It's not here, you know. Now if I tell you of India, India is about 3 million square kilometers. And now you see, means if we you know, put India 2.5 times, means 2.5 times, then we will get one Sahara Desert. Can you imagine how? How big is the Sahara Desert, right? So yeah, that I need to tell you. And one more thing, it consists of eleven countries. It consists of eleven countries are under the Sahara Desert. If I tell you some of the examples that are Egypt, um, Algeria, Niger, Mali, Morocco. Okay, these are the, some of the examples. Now, uh, if I tell you desert, okay, desert, I have said, what do you think about the desert? What do you think about the Some cactus and sand all over, right? The sky is blue, no clouds. That's sort of, you know, picture that comes in your mind. But now, that's not it. The desert has hills. It also has something known as mushroom. Mushroom rocks. Now, if I tell you how they are formed, mushroom ka earth we first uh, hum pehle picture dekh lete hain, okay? Mushroom rock ka. So I hope you saw the picture. Ab aapne dekha wo kaise mushroom type ka tha, right? To wo wo ab mushroom type ka kaise ho gaya? Kya mushroom type ka kaise ho gaya? To uh, jo desert hote hain, wahan pe dry bhi. और उसमें क्या होते छोटे 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 सैंड पार्टिकल्स होते हैं राइट दे आर हेवियर देन द विंड तो वो नीचे होते हैं राइट विंड जैसे चलती है उसके नीचे होते हैं नाउ जैसे ही वो रॉक से टकराते हैं ओवर इयर्स दे फॉर्म अ काइंड लाइक यू नो व्हाट आई से अ काइंड ऑफ थिक लाइन अ थिक स्टेम काइंड ऑफ थिंग नॉट अ स्टेम बट टू यू नो डिस्क्राइब इट एंड टेलिंग इट सो इट फॉर्म्स अ लेयर इट टेक्स मेनी इयर्स टू फॉर्म दी Kind of mushroom rocks, right? And that's why they uh, the wind particles, the sand particles now over years they are continuing breaking the uh, the rock, right? And then they are forming a layer, okay? And that's why the rock takes a takes a oval shape on the top, and there is a kind of a thick stem at the bottom, and then it looks like a mushroom. So it is known as mushroom rocks. So this was some of the information I got to uh, give you, and now let's move to the climate part. So now let's talk about climate. The climate में हमें तीन चीज़ दी गई हैं कि इसमें rain annually कितना होता है, वहाँ पे day temperature कितना रहता है, और night temperature maximum कितना रहता है. So rain the rain is about a maximum 25 centimeter annually, okay, annually. Day temperature, if we talk about maximum, it it is about 50 degrees. Day may kabi kabi ho jata hai 50 degrees. Okay, 50 degrees Celsius. And if we talk about the night temperature, night may jo uh, you know jitna wo garam hua tha, uh, no jitna temperature badha tha, utna hi jaldi rapidly wo niche jata hai and it's about 80 degrees Celsius. And if I uh, tell you something that the Atacama Desert, right? Atacama Desert is the driest desert. Atacama Desert. Desert is the driest. So that's it for today, guys. And जो भी तीन topics हमारे बाकी हैं wildlife, vegetation and human occupation वो हम करेंगे part two में 
और इस बार मैंने जितना हो सके इंफॉर्मेशन लिया है आप लोगों के लिए सो जो चैप्टर में नहीं था राइट लोकेशन में हमने सहारा डेजर्ट के बारे में बहुत कुछ जाना राइट दैट ऑल तो इतनी मेहनत के लिए एक लाइक राइट एक लाइक तो बनता है शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब सब्सक्राइब प्लीज नॉट डू इट ओके एंड इट्स नॉट यू नो इट्स अ नॉट अ प्रेशर जस्ट इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियोस इफ यू एंजॉय देम एंड इफ यू थिंक दैट समथिंग इज इंपॉर्टेंट समथिंग इज गुड इन हियर देन प्लीज टू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इट्स कंप्लीटली फ्री ओके नाउ थैंक यू